Batman 25 gamers, here we are again breaking down the scheme of the week. Today's this week's scheme of the week from the 3-4 over defense. And in this video, we're just going to show you our base man coverage. Uh, the play comes from the two man under. And just like most base coverages, very simple, not very complicated here. Just want to give you the setup and talk about why we use base man coverages, why we use plays like this in our in our arsenal. Now, what we need to do, and this is something I really like this year, uh, as far as two men, I've been doing this uh, recently is we're going to put our safeties in hook zones. We're going to put our um, D end, Smith here, in a purple, uh, uh, excuse me, a deep blue zone. And we're going to put McDonald in a deep blue zone. And we're going to uh, shade the coverage out. And then we're going to quarterback spy our defensive uh, tackle. This is going to do a good job with uh, seam passes, stuff like that, and slant routes and in routes and all that. This does a really good job. And what we can do is we can begin to... We can begin to um, shade our coverages on the outside and make adjustments based off of their tendencies. And here, I really like to shade coverage out. And remember, we can man align um, because of the, the blitz we showed earlier from Stink Pitch Zone. And it just does a really good job uh, as a basic coverage that we can take advantage of. So here you see Kaepernick drops back. And there's just not a whole lot of things open quick. And we're just hoping to make them hesitate and um, try to, they can try to bomb us deep, but with the adjustments we make on our coverage, they cannot beat us deep because we're in a two-man under coverage, which does a good job. And with the deep blues of those guys, even if they did beat, beat us deep, there's still going to be guys in position. Another concept we can use out of this is the traditional purple, purple, quarterback spy technique we use so many times. And just um, take Bowman here. And maybe take Lamar New and put him in a hook because he's on the running back. And then we can maybe just use her the fullback. Or, and and kind of watch um, this area of the field. So here we go, snap, go. And there's two setups, guys, for max coverage man look. And this is simply designed, you know, this is not designed to get pressure. This is designed to take advantage of situations where our opponent is starting to throw the ball on our blitz as it will. He's starting to figure it out. He's starting to understand, hey, I know what he's doing. I now know that I can hit the flats every time. Or I can hit my out routes every time. The two men under is designed to make them hesitate, to make them take time, timely drives. And we like to call it in second and short situations where they may be trying to hit us deep. Or they may be trying to um, try to hit, hit, take a big shot. And we're just going to say, okay, well, obviously you're going to probably get the first down. It's second and short. What we're going to try to do is we're just going to try and maybe get a pick off of a bad read. Or we could, you know, maybe just give them only five yards instead of 55 yards on a blitz. So this is why we like to use the man coverage. And we don't call it often. But when we do call it, we call it with a ton of success. A lot of times, and in my opinion, guys, I know it sounds redundant. Every week every week and week we talk about two men under. But two men under is the best base man coverage in the game, bar none. Best base man coverage, guys. Be sure to check it out. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions as far as how to use this, how to set it up, or whatever, let me know in the uh, just comments. I gave you two setups this week and uh, two different kind of uh, theories we could play from the two men under. Thanks, guys, so much for another great opportunity to share with you. If you could do me a favor and share this video on Twitter, I'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys tomorrow.